How do you create mobile friendly pages on WordPress that not only look good, but that also convince people to buy your product or service from you? Let's talk about this. Okay, so we've covered many times on this channel why it's so important to be optimizing our website for mobile devices. 43%, 43% of the online traffic these days comes from a mobile device. So if your website isn't optimized to make sure mobile devices can enjoy a smooth and fast experience on it, you're going to be leaving conversions on the table. So how do we design good looking, well-optimized websites on WordPress? Well, step one would be to make sure that we're using the right tools for the task that we're up for. You see, designing a page that looks good on all devices can be, it can be a little bit of a daunting task, but Thrive Architect makes it super easy for us, which is why I personally use Thrive Architect to design all of my landing pages. So first things first, head over to thrivegames.com and grab your license for Thrive Architect. And if you're serious about building an online business, you might as well just grab a license for Thrive Suite while you're at it, because with Thrive Suite, you not only get access to Thrive Architect, but you're going to get access to all of the plugins that you need to build your online business in one single package of premium plugins, rather than you know trying to mix and match a theme from one developer with an opt-in form builder by another developer. It's just easier when all of the tools that you need are built by a reliable business and all the plugins that you need work seamlessly with each other. You know, I like I like to think of Thrive Suite as the Apple likes ecosystem of products, but for WordPress. All right, and once you've signed up for Thrive Suite and have Thrive Architect installed on your WordPress website, we can now open up any of our WordPress pages with it. Thrive Architect offers a wide range of professionally designed mobile responsive templates. You can browse through the available options and select a template that best suits your needs. You know, just tweak the images, the text, you know, the colors, and you, you'll be good to go. I mean, you can have a mobile responsive page in just a few minutes. But what happens if you already have a design in, say, Figma or Adobe XD or are simply looking to build something unique of your own? Well, you can most certainly do that as well by creating a new blank page and building it from scratch. Okay, but where does Thrive Architect come into play when it comes to mobile responsiveness? Well, whether you're working off of a template or are looking to build a page from scratch, there are a few design principles that you need to take into account to make sure that your websites look good on mobile devices. The first one is to simply make sure that everything that you're building on desktop looks good on tablet and smartphones as well. And this is as simple as switching over from desktop to mobile view inside Thrive Architect and making the necessary adjustments to, you know, to your font sizes, to your spacings to margins, paddings, and so forth and so on. And let me just give you a real life example. I'm a huge fan of breathing room. I think that a good website design that makes use of breathing room in between sections and in between parent containers and child elements typically results in a more clean website. And breathing room is determined by two things, margins and paddings. I oftentimes see myself adding 60 pixels of top and bottom padding in all of my background sections on desktop. And again, this gives my sections a little bit of breathing room so that my layout doesn't come across as being clustered. But those 60 pixels of breathing room on desktop can be a little bit too much on smartphones and may create a feeling of emptiness in contrast. So it's important that I go in and bring those down a little bit on mobile devices. Again, Thrive Architect just makes these types of things super easy to get done. The next design principle that I'd like you to understand is that sometimes it's just best to have desktop exclusive sections and mobile exclusive sections. You see, Thrive Architect gives us the option of hiding and showing elements only on specific devices. For example, I can hide this section on desktop but show it on mobile devices or show it on tablets but not smartphones. But why would we ever do this? Well, let me give you an example. Take this header. It's super clean and organized on desktop, but there's too much stuff happening to try to make it mobile responsive. On a smartphone, we just simply lack the screen real estate to make everything fit nice and tidy. But with Thrive Architect, what we can do is create a header that is desktop exclusive and one that's mobile exclusive to make sure that they're each as perfectly optimized as they possibly can be on each type of device. Now, keep in mind that it's 100% not necessary and definitely not required to do this for every section on your pages, okay? Ideally, you want to just have the least amount of mobile exclusive and desktop exclusive sections as you possibly can. Mainly because, I mean, think about it. The more exclusive sections you have, the more manual work and maintenance work you're going to have to do every time you wanna update the content 
inside those sections. Plus, as you've already seen, for the most part, you're able to take your existing desktop content and optimize it for mobile devices without any issues using Thrive Architect. And this is essentially how you can easily build mobile friendly pages on WordPress. It's that simple and that easy. If you take these two principles to heart, you're not gonna have any issues making your desktop pages look good on mobile devices as well. Now, there is a link down in the description box that you can click on. It's gonna take you to our website where you can grab a license to Thrive Architect. With it, you're gonna be able to build the best looking mobile pages that you can possibly imagine on WordPress. I'm also down in the comment section below if you, if you got any questions. Yeah, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you for your time and I'll see you soon. Bye.